guys, my name is Vincent David and welcome to my YouTube channel again today. It's been a whole long time here and I've missed you all. Trust me, I've missed every one of you on this channel. I've missed your comments, I've missed your likes, I've missed your questions on Instagram. I've missed your questions on my Facebook Messenger, those that sent me mail, that sent me a lot of mails. I miss them. Alright guys, so I'm back on your faces today and today we're going to be doing 1 million naira per week e-commerce strategy. Crafting killing offers. This strategy it's not a I thirst here, you know, agree. I tell mm, mm, mm. you know, like this channel, I give you playbook straight to the point, clear cut strategies. Like, we don't waste time here in this channel. I tell you what you will do to take it from level A to level B. All right, guys. So, in this in, on this video today, I would like you to sit tight, don't let anything distract you. I'm going to be coming on your faces from my slides, my your faces shortly on this video. And I would like you to know that this video is going to change your life. It's going to change your business. It's going to change everything you believed in about the e-commerce Nigeria. If you think you know anything about crafting offers, just wait to the end of this video. Hey guys, Vincent David here, and welcome to today's video. All right, guys. So I, I, I really, 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 really wish I could say everything I want to say in this video. I really want to pour out my heart. Because uh, 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 let's say this is a quick disclaimer. This figure you're seeing here is dependent on three things: your hard work, your 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 hard work, and your hard work. Yeah, your hard work, your hard work, and your hard work. So you may get this figure, you may even surpass it. Some weeks you surpass this figure, you may, and some weeks we don't surpass this figure. Yeah, because maybe that week we didn't put in enough work. Okay, so your hard work is dependent on your hard work. Your hard work and your hard work okay so and of course you know inside hard work there are many things there's facebook advertising let's not go into those things but that's it crap oh pardon my typos even from the title of the time uh, it's like i'm making mistakes crafting seven figures of our seven figure of us all right one million per week e-commerce strategy this is my reality and i always tell you in this channel i teach my reality that's why it might uh, 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 our time spent together in this channel is very very interesting and i tend to share a lot of things here because what we go what i teach my reality i don't teach what i heard from someone or what someone told me or i yeah of course I, I, they're all they're all joined together it's not a disjointed reality you know they all they all come together to make up my reality so i teach my reality okay so um Let's go. Yeah, so this is going to be super, super interesting. A lot. It's going to be super, super interesting because you'll be hearing a whole lot of things. And um, and um, you will be hearing a whole lot of things at the time. So I really want you to pay attention. Okay, it's maybe maybe lengthy, but pay attention. Right? So I'll go by, I'll start by saying um, in every, one minute, my phone, let me get my phone. I'll start by saying in every industry, Money is always hidden. Yeah, this is why you see someone doing real estate and the person is a multi billionaire in naira or dollars, and someone is also doing real estate and the person is not making money. Okay, why? Because in every industry, money is hidden. There is somewhere to go get money, there is somewhere to go look for money. You understand that? There's somewhere to go look for money. Money is not just everywhere, like oh, you'll see money here, yeah, you walk up the street to see money. No, money is not there. Money is not like that. In every industry, money is hidden somewhere. Like money is 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 goes into somewhere and hides in a cocoon in a corridor. Okay, so in specific places, same with e-commerce. In a, someone can be doing laundry business, and then um, he's making more money than someone doing laundry business in the industry. The reason is this: he has discovered where money is hiding in laundry business. Same with entertainment industry. Okay. It may just be a tweak in packaging. It may just be a tweak in sound. It may just be just a little thing, but money is hidden. And in any money-making venture, money is hidden. And the, 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 the clearest proof 
or, or the clearest backing of this fact is that some people are rich or some people are not rich. Some people are making it, some people are not making it. It's, it's clear. It's glaring. So money is hidden somewhere in every industry. You should understand this, that people don't just see money because they do what others are doing. Anybody making making it big from an industry has uncovered where money is hiding in that industry. So what I'm about to show you is one of the places money is hiding in e-commerce. Okay? Money hides in a lot of places, things, and... um. Ways in e-commerce. I want to show you one of them. Okay, so you get to know it, and as we uncover and unravel it together, I wish you more money, right? More zeros and figures to your account. Okay, let's go. Um, so if money is hidden, then your primary concern should be how to find it. Okay, come on, we are here to make more money. Sorry for the waving sound. I'm adjusting my leg. Come on, nobody satisfied with what what it has. It, it was Bonaboy that sang the song that. Dangote is still looking for money. So, your concern, my concern should be how to find it. I want to make more money. I want to add more zeros to what I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> previously, I was discussing with my guy and I was saying, bro, I'm sad. Yeah, like, why? They said, um, so he said, counting my blessings for me. But then, by this time last year, what you have now, you didn't have it. Okay. What you achieved now, you know, not achieved it. Okay. I mean, last year, hey, same thing two years ago. So, in as much as I have, now, what I have, I really need more, right? So because I want to make my money, I want to add more zeros to what I've got. Yeah, I don't know whether to get to a point to stop or more. We are only by creating more product. We are only by uh, uh, executing more ideas to make my money. To they 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 are doing several things, making several money moves, and doing several amazing stuff. So I don't know if I will stop anytime soon. But of course, I won't stop anytime soon now. If people will get, if people if people if we get money, that's me. Times one billion or times one million. I'm still looking for money. Why should I stop anytime soon? Okay. Same here for you. So we are about to uncover it. Okay, let's go. In your industry, you must be a money hunter. You were a hunter goes into the bush, bush, say bush, bush for an adventure of where to see money, of where to see an animal to hunt. That's why you must enter your 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 industry, the inner carcass of your industry. You should enter there and you begin to look for money. You must be a money hunter. Where is this money? So you must literally uncover money from exceeding places. Yeah, money likes to have it, likes to be found. Okay? Okay, let's go. In e-commerce, money is hidden in four places. Many places are listed for. Sorry, I'm shutting on my phone. First one is product. Second one is people. Third one is funnels. Fourth one is offers. Okay, so in e-commerce Nigeria, money is hidden in products, people, funnels, and offers. It's something you should know. In e-commerce Nigeria, money is hidden in products, people, funnels, and offers. So today, we're going to be looking at one of the places where money is hiding in e-commerce Nigeria, and that is what offers. All right. So today, we'll be talking about offer. I've already said that before. So selling a product is great. Selling offers are better. Selling product is great. Selling offers are way, way better than selling product. And I'm going to explain what this statement means shortly. Fact about offers. Okay. The first fact about offers is you need a weak offer is a weak, is a product lead. Now, this is a lead. This is my right hand. This is my left hand. This is a lead. Watch my left hand move. My left hand can go past my right hand. I don't know that I spread that lead correctly. Can go past my right hand. Why? It's a cap. It's a limitation. Watch. I'm taking my right hand. It's my left hand. So a weak offer is like my right hand on top of this on this top. So my product wants to go up, but there's a limitation. Are you seeing that? There's a limitation. There's a lead on it. There's a limitation. Take this weak offer off. Put a great offer. This is my product. Goes up to the sky. So a weak offer is a product lead. It's a product limitation. So a good product with a weak offer is a limitation on the product, no matter how good the product is. Write that down. Quotable quotes by Vincent. Put my name there. Vincent David. Capital letters. Put it there. 
Don't share, don't share it anywhere. I said it. Yes, it came from my mind. <laughs> Put my name. <laughs> yes. So a good product with a weak offer is a limitation on the product. No matter how good the product is, did you get? To, did you get? I want you to get this thing. You can have an amazing, very rare product. You can be the only one having the, the product in the entire country, Nigeria. Of course, I'm talking about Nigeria. Probably Nigeria, yes. A good product with a weak offer is a limitation on the product. I'm not saying the product will not say, but it's a limitation. How can you, how can you superimpose a limitation on something that has potential to skyrocket? Like you inf- inflict a limitation on it. Just like you are being tied to something and you have the potential to go beyond that place, but because it's a limitation, you're bound. So I want you to understand this, that a good product with a weak offer is a limitation of the product, no matter how good the product is. The product will sell for some time, but if you get a point, it cannot move again. Yeah? So a good, a weak product, a weak, a weak offer is a product lead. Don't ever forget this for the rest of your life. Secondly, a weak offer is a market lead. Same example, right hand up, market under. Market is trying to go above this limitation, but you, with your weak offer, you did it like this. This is market. You have an audience of 33 million persons on Facebook on a particular product. It can be like that. So it's 3 million persons or 13 million persons on a particular product. But your offer has shortened the lifespan of that audience to four weeks. And a, 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 an audience is supposed to last you for 12 months, a year, of selling a particular product. But an offer will short leave a weak offer will short leave that audience of 3 million to one week. So your advert begin to experience fatigue. You begin to experience no order, no sale. Why? This is it. Quote a book word by Vincent, a good product with a weak offer is a limitation on the market, no matter how good the product is. Quote a book word by Vincent, write it there. Put my name in capital letters. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's go. So the market will get wary of the product and will get, will get tired. They will get tired of the product. Why? Because your offer is bad. Okay. So you may not have a product problem. You may have an offer problem. You may have a product problem, you may have an offer problem. Don't ever forget that. So, what a book was a product, a good product with a weak offer is a limitation on the market. No matter, no matter how good the product is. A weak offer is a money lead. Ah, we want to make more money. Me and you want to make more money, but because your offer is weak. This product has the has a bit the potential. To generate 150 million naira for you, but you weak your weak offer has capped it. This is your money. You are still struggling to collect 400,000 naira from a product that has the potential to give you 150 million. 400,000. As in one to hundred thousand four places, you are struggling to collect it. As, as in 400,000. For hi, my god. So I would like you to pay attention. So a good product with a weak offer is a limitation on the amount of money the product would make you or could make you no matter how good the product is. A weak offer is a money lead. Don't ever forget this for the rest of your life. Crafting offers. Before we get to crafting offers, let's look at determinants of offers. I didn't explain this well, but I'm going to explain it verbally. Determinants of offer. What determines offers? Determinants. Determinants. Determinants of offers. Wrong spelling there. What determines offers? What are the things you see and you want to cast off the land? So what determines the kind of offer you should have on the market? Number two, the audience. The market is not the audience. The market is where you are selling. The meat you are selling. The audience is people in the market. Yeah. The market. The meat you are selling. Female or male? Yeah. Pregnant or, or, or not pregnant? Pregnant. Married or, or married? Married. Newlywed or, or old word? Newlywed. Divorced or divorced? That is the market. Audience is specific people, right? So, sorry, that is the audience. The market is where well, the bitch you're selling. 
pricing is a determinant of what offer and is the most important according to my theology is the most important thing in offers number four competition yeah your competition would damage the kind of offer you have the kind of offer i will throw on the product if i'm the only one selling it not the kind of offer i will throw on the product if i 152,500. <laughs> I don't know where that figure came from. If 152 persons dragging that market. So, my offer, if 152 persons would be better and thicker than my offer when I'm just one or when I'm just three. Why? Because people are dragging customers with me. So, if I. Ah, okay, go to another topic. Sorry, let me write down. Because we are dragging the market, my offer would be what? Ticker. Okay, cool. Competition is a determinant of offer. Open your understand. So, market, audience, pricing. Pricing is a determinant of offer. So, competition is a determinant of offer. So, let's go. Yeah, wait. It's Vincent here. I know you're about to leave this channel or leave this video like you would leave every other average YouTube channel, right? I know you're about to leave and come back later. I have one good news for you just before you leave. E-commerce Nigeria can make you a millionaire. E-commerce Nigeria can make you live the life of your dreams. I know what I'm saying. I I have results. If I don't have results, you wouldn't be listening to me here. Like um, e-commerce Nigeria can give you a whole lot of money. And I want to mention two things categorically here. And it's not for show off. Ah Yes, it's for show off. It's for show off because it's the, it's the kind of thing. I will make you listen to me. So e-commerce Nigeria can buy you a car like this. Like this car you're seeing on your screen. That car is uh, 5.5 million there. It's the car I just bought. E-commerce Nigeria can give you the life of your dreams. You can travel abroad anytime you want. Like the picture you're seeing there. Yes. I showed you these two things because I want you to really listen to me. I'd like you to really watch more of my videos. And I'd like you not to go off this channel or leave this video like you're about to be. Just a short break and I'll be back on your faces. Not just this video. After watching this video, watch other videos on this channel and believe that you can get a lot of results with e Nigeria. So, don't go off this video and I'd like you to subscribe to this channel too. Believe in e-commerce Nigeria. It can change your life forever. Crafting offers. First thing you should know about crafting offers is Product relativity. Product relativity. You should understand that this, this this means this is very simple. This means how this product or this product relates with your prospective customers. Is it an everyday product or your once in a while product? Yeah. So about that. That's what this means. It means the relativity of your product with your customers. How you relate to them. This is the product they use every day, a product they use once in a while. So relativity, relating with, with their everyday life. How do these people relate to this product? How do they use this product? How what do they make out of this product? Like what is their relationship with this product? So that's what it's called product relativity. So the offer you have for a kitchen product that is used once in a while is not the same offer you have for uh, uh, a, a product for charities. That you need to administer every day. So the same offer you have for a product like a security product that needs to be a, a mounted that works every day. Okay, so relativity. Okay, let's go. Second one is product complement factor. All right. So you must find what complements your product. All right. In terms of what enhances the value. Hope you are learning. Hope these terms are not too big. You know that in this place, I like being very touch and putting something into. Term, so that one single term can explain it. So product complement factor. You must find out what complements products that you are selling. If you want to make great offers, want to craft great offers, what complements the product? Okay. So for example, a bed frame and a bed, a mattress. So a mattress complements a bed frame. So I'm selling a bed frame to be easier to put it in an offer that contains a mattress. And it's easier to put the bed mattress inside the bed frame. It's harder to put a flower vase and the bed frame. Or it's hard to put a laptop and the bed frame. Well, what's it concerned with you? We like the top laptop. So you are using complementing products. I'll give you good examples. So you can say 
buy bed frame, get mattress free. It's not, you're not giving anybody mattress free. The price for the mattress is in the bed frame. Why? Offers. Buy phone, get ear, airport. Buy iPhone, get airport free. Get screen guard free. So get screen guard free. Why? Offers. So a shoe and a stockings. So what? Offers. A shoe and a stockings will sell more than a shoe and a pen. I need the two, but I will buy a shoe and a stockings. Probably buy pen from somewhere else. You got it. If you don't get it, go back to it. Crafting of number three, product pricing factor. It's important. This is the most important part of, of, of crafting offers. Pricing is crucial. I will give you a rule here. Now, I don't, I'm not sure you've heard anyway, but I'll give it to you here because I didn't hear from anyone. It just came from experience. Okay? So um, in pricing factor, you should look at com- if you should look at competition. I didn't like the right love to say them. If you look at competition, who is competing with you? What is his highest price? Okay, now in price factor, you should offer or sell the best quality for the lowest price. Or what to call the best quality for the lowest price when there's competition, then for the best price when there's no competition. Okay, I'm saying many things. Hope you get it. The best quality for the best price when there's no competition, for the lowest price when there's competition. So your competition is saying 29,000, 24,000, 26,000, 28,000, you want to sell 24. You want to sell 25. Now, if you're reducing price for it's one is 25. Let's say a shoe and a stockings is 25,000. Now, if you want to then give it a, a second offer, buy two shoes and two stockings or get two stockings. Don't reduce the price by even numbers. It's called the price reduction odd number rule. This is customer, it's he said that. Customer psychology, in customer psychology, that people will notice odd numbers more than they notice even numbers. Even number. Even numbers is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Odd numbers is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Okay. It said it said that the affinity or the or the promptness or the attention people have for negative news. Some attention people have for odd numbers. So instead of saying 25,000 for one, you then say. 45,000 for two. No. Sorry. You don't say uh, 48,000 for two. No. You say 45,000 for two. Or 45,500. Or 47,000 for two. Or 47,700. Or 43,000 for two. Or for 3,500. Or 3,300. For 3,700. Odd numbers. People will notice the odd number. Hey, my God. Are you getting this what I'm saying? You need to get this thing because this thing is very, very crucial. This thing will change your business. So, so you use the odd number price reduction strategy or rule. 500, 700, 300, 900, 11, 15, 13, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33. Like odd numbers. Don't use even numbers. Right? People will notice it very fast. Add in the mind of a customer. You... You are actually reduced that price by over 10,000 an hour, but it's just 3K you removed, or 7K or 5K. But you get what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, I think this, this, this is a good place to clap if you're watching. Yeah, clap. <laughs> yes, let's go. We'll send David here. Craft number four customer psychology club back factor. Customer psychology club back factor. What this means is that you must make the customer feel as if he or she is cheating you. By collecting more, more valuable. By collecting more, more valuable than for issues of money. But when the customer feel like this 50 can pay you, it's too small for this thing. Yeah, so you must turn out to combine with that. So instead of saying two shoes for 45,000, you say three shoes and two stockings. What must it be? One shoe is 25,000. Three shoes is 47,700. Am I not able to move? For me to buy, for you notice this, what we're actually doing is we're discouraging them from buying that one. We want them to buy that second offer. And in that second offer, that's where our profit is. You get it? If you don't get it, go back to it. Listen again. Rewind. Oh, this is YouTube. Rewind. Come back. So, you give them more. 
It's you that know your profit, so you cost your price, right? You give them more and make them feel as if they are cheating you for it. Do it in, do it out. Let's go. <laughs> yes, let's go. I think this is the last one. Number five, product bundle factor. Product bundle factor. Now, this means, uh, I'll just give examples here. So you go, you have to bundle product. Security headgear and security light for the price of security light. We always say better than just security security light. <laughs> you know security headgear now? That's in the way on the head. And security light. For the price of security light we sell better than just selling only security light such a security head gate and security light you put it for sorry i think i'm sitting with my screen like my screen is going to have for sorry security head gate you can sell security head gate for let's see twenty eight thousand there Plus security like two hundred twenty thousand naira. This twenty thousand naira, you sell better than just selling only security lights of twenty thousand naira. True, true, true. For, for let's let's for security mature health, it's capsule and balm for the price of capsule we sell better than just capsule. Capsule and balm fifteen thousand. Capsule fifteen thousand. People will buy capsule and balm more than they buy capsule. So that is what is about bundling offers. So you must bundle offers. All right, so you must bundle over. So I think I should have a video where I should teach you on upsell, downsell, cross sell, all the sales. Okay, so this is what you should do if you must make craft quick offers. This video is amazing. I'm shitting myself with you. So, super I mean, let me just go back. So, I started by saying um, money is hidden somewhere in every industry. Then, secondly, as I said, um, okay, that's it. My skin has moved. I said, if money hidden, you must be a money hunter. I said, money hidden in product, people, funnels, and offers. So we'll take the, the, the three data, but today we did offers. And we said, um, fact about offers, a week, a week, remember our example, a week offer is a product lead. A week offer is a market lead. A week offer is a money lead. Don't ever forget these three points. So captain offers. So I'd like you to go over this video again, and I would like you to please subscribe. I know, I know you enjoyed this video. I know you enjoyed it. You can't tell me you didn't enjoy the video. It's impossible for you not to enjoy the video. So thank you for watching, guys. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying through this video. Thank you for sticking with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Appreciate.